welcome Chris Gibson, Director, British Council, South India, and Project Owner, Project English in India and Sri Lanka. Chris, uh, what does the English language mean to you as an individual and as a professional? Well, I think uh, as an individual, it's uh, it's all about the uh, the culture of uh, of English and uh, and the ability to communicate with uh, a wide range of people. Uh, what do you think should the status of English language be in education framework in India and Sri Lanka? Well, I think um, I think English English language has uh, has changed significantly in terms of uh, how it is seen by people. I think uh, Gradle is right when he says that uh, English language now is being seen as a basic skill, and as a basic skill like uh, mathematics. It's something that uh, all should have access to, because uh, English then English language then gives people access to employment. It gives basically it is access to opportunities, opportunities to uh, change your life. So uh, I think uh, I think uh, it's uh, it's a very exciting time, and and I think therefore um, <coughs> India should be uh, should concentrate on its uh, its own its its own languages. Tamil, Hindi, etc., but also give uh, give children the opportunity to have quality language learning, English language learning, so that they have the opportunities, they have the, the richness and the diversity of their own languages and their own cultures, but also have this uh, access key to opportunities and employability. Should we then uh, argue for a case for English being offered to the masses rather than restricted to the classes? Absolutely, I think I think that uh, um, you know at, at the moment one of the Millennium Goals set by and agreed at the United Nations is that uh, all children in the world have access to education as a right, as a basic uh, human right, and I think that we should make quality English language learning available to all children so that they have uh, an opportunity to get the most out of life. The this particular policy dialogue, third policy dialogue, mm. what were uh, what were the things uppermost in your mind in terms of objectives? I think uh, to really uh, stimulate the debate uh, that is uh, that is uh, taking place uh, within education as to what is the role of uh, of English, uh, how can we uh, provide English language training to uh, our young people who are coming through the education system and how does that then relate to the wider economy and uh, how does it relate to uh, giving children uh, through their ed through education opportunities uh, for self-development and uh, to have a successful life. What were the things that worked really well in uh, English for Progress, the third policy dialogue? I think uh, I think the quality of uh, the participants. I think uh, that uh, since we started in 2007, uh, I think we have raised the profile of the British Council, both within uh, education and within uh, uh, the corporate world, and demonstrated quite clearly that uh, we can and do provide. Uh, quality training solutions, whether that's uh, for a state dealing with uh, hundreds of thousands of teachers or a, uh, a company which uh, needs to uh, provide uh, uh, language skills for its uh, employees. And I think as a result of that, we've got great participation this, this time. I think also the second thing is the quality of the, uh, of the, sp of the speakers. I think it was absolutely fabulous that we uh, were able to uh, secure Nandan Nina Kenny coming to the uh, opening to have David Gradle launch his what what we hope will be a quite a controversial uh, books further stimulating the debate and then having a whole series of speakers from both the corporate world and from uh, the public sector and from uh, leading institutions of education all participating in the in the conversation I think you know it, it, it has been really excellent two days Thank you. Chris okay. Gibson, Director of British Council in South India and Project Owner, Project English India and Sri Lanka. Thank you, Chris, for being with us. Okay. Thank you very much.